renewed jihad. And the holy city of Jerusalem, where the prophet was taken up to heaven, has fallen to the infidels. His magnificence, the Caliph Abdullah, will not let this stand, and has declared another era of great conquest is upon us, as such as is the case in the days of the first Caliphs. The Dar al Islam must be defended. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. This is some disturbing news. Which, by the way, it's not directed against us um, for the Muslim world down there. It's referring to the fact, although we're both ongoing, that, that the lands that is roughly the Dejur area of the Kingdom of Jerusalem has fallen to the uh, German eyed pagans who are reformed held by the Saxons, that they somehow want a conquest war over them. While meanwhile, in Bosnia, on this new episode, we have truly entered into a, I would say, it's kind of modern, but at least we're feudal now. We have a theocracy vassal with the Prince Archbishop and a relatively young merchant republic of Ragusa also known as Dubrovnik, to, to the South Slavic people out there that may be watching. And uh, there's still a lot more work to do. Especially that I could change uh, laws right now, but I need to get to uh, late fetal administration. Which I need to live three more years until January 7th of 903. And I still have work to do for the Benedictine Order, which I will have to donate to charity, which I could do just that. And I can get all that money back by uh, ransoming some, some people. Donate to charity, here it is. The Benedictine Order has received your graciously denoted gift. You have our thanks. In addition, those lives will be greatly approved by my charity. I only did my duty, Congress. Yeah, temple vassals uh, like me more. Now let's try to get all that money back. There's some people we can check them out. Oh wow, 216 gold. I think they were the former rulers of whose titles I've uh, revoked. Correct. One of the former rulers. They can get out of the country. Matter of fact, just banish anyone you see, even if they don't have money in their pockets. Even if it's petty. I could you too. That's another form of uh, a thousand gold. If we could build churches with that kind of money. You know, uh, if I want to build a church, I would like to build it in Dubrovnik. How much would it cost? Me? Well, it'll just wait until I reach the rank of Conversus, where the price will be reduced. The Bektashi Order. A Sufi sect of dervishes have arisen under the leadership of certain, um, Hajidi Bektashwali, a mystic from Corso, striving for unity be being. Bektashi has trained a soul through meditation and contemplation in the inner meaning of the Quran. The Bektashi Order is warlike, especially popular among Sunni Muslim soldiers. The Order is sworn to protect Islam and to combat infidels and polytheists of all kinds. Mystic soldiers. Well, there's a Persian man. Although Sunni, with their moral authority, gee, even the Muslim world is having similar problems like we have been having. So, if they can beat the German Ajax, that's good. Ah, yes, the carousing with the Prince Archbishop. Well, I'm here, so I could have something good. My wish to become a better Catholic has led me to the rule of St. Benedict. Studying works and lives of St. Benedict have made me realize the error of my ways. I have promised myself to treat others with less iron and more compassion. Praise be God, I'm no longer cruel. Which means I am highly likely I will be beatified as a saint. After my passing, of course, but that's up to the Pope. I'm pious enough, I got the virtues. I have over a thousand piety. I'm a pilgrim, and I'm a shield maiden. Yes, shield maidens is for, is considered a pious trait. 
for venerated ancestors if you were to pagan faith. But since I'm formerly pagan, best friend, Prince Archbishop. And, uh, <laughs> yes, um, and don't forget celibate. Celibate is pretty important. That's fun. Hopefully we'll do that again sometime. And since I have money to, to spend, let's have our first ever summer fair. This should make the peasants happy. Oh, that's in Vukovar. I forgot to take care of those guys. We can send our retinue. No need for the main army just yet. These guys are amateurs. Huh. I forgot to suppress that revolt. They're going to be meeting those guys. They're only doing very little damage. Despite all this, um, I invited a monkey trainer to the summer fair and the performance went well until uh, one of the monkeys refused to ride on top of the pig. The trainer beat the monkey with a stick, which led the other monkeys to attack the trainer, biting him and hitting him with his own stick. They approve. He proves my honesty. Oh, you're just some mayor of Coca-Cola. Serves them right. You did, Jack. Let's help you out on this one. Yes, uh, I'm trying to sway him. He's already f very fond of me. I want to be close friends with him. So, no, I wish to maintain his friendship. You know, he's the rector, you know. I was about to say mayor, but... Um, but it is what it is. <coughs> Croatian Orthodox, who was ugly, has been slain by my... Husband, Pukovaras. Mummers and singing outside of towns while slowly moving towards my castle. The summer fair suddenly felt less pleasant as the mummers, clad in strange clothes, went from door to door, singing and frightening uh, small children. Let's see. Um, I can't wait. I love mummers. Still not gregarious. And that's that. Don't execute people. I don't want to be cruel anymore. I'm already a blessed person as I already am. So again, a jihad for Jerusalem might be possible. Just some kins on. Then that's for over there. You know what? Fine. Get her out of there. I'm not saying a non aggressive pack because kin, not close kin. Ground split. One club put it, the other normal. Look at that retinue size. Not retinue, his um, levy size. Very, very low. I mean, look at you. You got all that money to spend, and why aren't you spending it? Hmm. Perhaps I can help you out on this. For once, I'm spending it for you. Alright. Remember, Dubrovnik is Helen's pride and joy. It's the crown, it's the pearl of the Adriatic. Check Vukovar again. If they pop up again, fine by me. We'll keep crushing them until, you know, they're no more. You know, no sympathy for, for heretics. I didn't know there's an opinion boost for funded buildings in his domain. 
as I said before, Dubrovnik slash Ragusa is the, is the Pearl the Adriatic and Helen's Pride and Joy. Also, more charity? You got it. I saw my duty and did it. Do I get another virtue? Because every time you complete a mission, you get a virtue or some other bonus. Yes. Now, I've noticed that my sense of ego and need for recognition has all but vanished. This change has helped me focus on the things that really matter. I'm now humble. How much is that? Hmm. The one thing that concerns me, if Helen were to be a future saint. Oh, the tribal kinslayer, it's gone. I failed to notice that because I'm no longer tribal, I'm feudal. It's gone. See? This person is an example that she went from a shield maiden warrior of Perun to a servant of God. <laughs> that is great. Uh, what is the Holy Roman Empire up to? Oh, the Ted Holy Roman all the same of all. Those heretics never learn, do they? By the way, just in case, move the retinue into uh, Bukovar. Norway, non aggression? Sure. Intriguing. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, harvest festivals, which up the local tax modifier. And Donia Cry is now uh, prospering. The reason why, uh, another reason why, financing, funding, I should say, the buildings for, um, for the Republic of Ragusa is to not only better defend themselves, but also they m may never know if they'll get into wars against Venice for control of trade posts or cities or something. Let's talk strategy. You have a martial education, do you? Misguided warrior. It'll do. There you go. Now you like me more than ever. Why can't we be close friends? Unless I were to go to carousing, but I don't think these people in the uh, in our monastery would like me doing any other activity that isn't theology. Okay, we're making 16 gold a month. One would think I would have to build a temple for them, but I would rather just wait to rank up one more time, and then I'll build a church for them, which is going to be our way of saying sorry to you Dalmatians because of our ancestors. We destroyed your church, which was an iconoclast church long ago. My son has two grandchildren. You haven't impregnated your wife again, have you? Could teach him a virtue if I wanted to, but no, that's too holy. Oh no, they're gonna be leaving. Never mind. I guess they were raiding someplace, and suddenly they've come here. Large hosts like that, and since we're a prospering country, we should watch out for those raiders. They come serious now. And, and I don't think you guys have any way of better defending yourselves. They're going to be leaving the uh, borders. And you're wounded by angry tax, angry peasant uh, collecting tax, angry taxes. Uh, yeah, tax for your own anger, will ya? Bishop Vukasin, close friend. Ah, 
all right just one more year and then uh we'll install a late feudal administration and make the titles of bosnia croatia and serbia primogeniture so that my heirs can get it all and our realms will never be separated ever again because we cannot risk that I guess you're doing, Dewey. And let your father raise you. Another thing I've wondered about, Father Garagusa. I know Venice has plenty of trade posts, but where do you have your trade posts at? You have one in Foggia, uh, Panamos, Monem. Uh, Monavasia, Athenae, and Smyrna. Castle infrastructure. I think it's high time to, uh, you know, start building something. That's in the castle structures. Like some uh, castle town for more money making. I think I know the other counties have probably have neglected their defenses, which I will build them up. Because we never truly built their uh, defenses back in the tribal days. Plus walls means more money. Okay, you already do have your walls. Yep, more tax income in a year. Also, wait a minute, what the? German Tengri. All right, there's still Tengri inside of, uh, what's in the, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, you guess they're from that, um, Prince Archbishop area down there. Prince Archbishopric. There you go. That's the name of the of that realm. Uh oh. As the days drag on seemingly never ending, I could barely keep my eyes open. Have no energy at all. Nice. I think it's great pox? No way. <laughs> to, to rid of me of my ailments, uh, Bishop uh, Batalo orders me to sleep hanging upside down for a couple of days. It will rebalance me, you sure I feel like a bat. This is an excellent symptom treatment, apparently. If you're feeling fatigue, sleep upside down. That's what the bishop tells me. Now I have a fever. Oh, right, I'll invite him to my... What's wrong with you? Oh, you have a bloody face. You recently won a duel, have you? Oh, you are a duelist. Right, come spend a few days with me because um, I'm a bit ill. So I think these days have really helped me getting better up to know better to know and appreciate me better. We spend most of our time visiting like the main discussing the most desperate topics. Please allow me to give you something before leaving. How about more money? If it is indeed great pox then it doesn't mean much because I'm celibate. As long as it isn't a severe illness. Oh it's a gout. That's pretty bad. This is a normal illness. Okay, hang on here. Okay, since it's a, uh, a normal illness, it's plus minus two, I should say. I'm a bit brawny. A bit. You physically are. 
just uh, have a well-tested treatment. So, um, as long as you know what you're doing. Yeah. As long as you know what you're doing. Okay, it's presented with a charred carcass of a cat and prompted me to dig in as I ate. He told me how he had chased a plump feline around my holdings for hours. I felt as if he wanted praise for his work, but the vile taste of my meal kept me silent. I actually feel better. Remember, you can't be cured from the gout. It'll still be with me throughout my elderly life. So that's how it's gonna be. The old former priestess of stone has passed. All right, let's put in a new bishop. Another bishop named Alvato. Uh, it's a popular bossy name. And he's a quick thinker. That's a good one. Also, what the heck is going on over there? Revolt against the rule. What did he ever do to you? Okay, it's just him. You can handle that. And also, you got no money. Fix that problem. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna donate my money to you. As much as we're good friends of one another. Alright. I think it's high time. I mean, I'm glad we got through this. Uh, late feudal ministries. Is everyone for it? Oh, it's a split. But I get the desire to vote. So, it'll happen. Late feudal lords realize the importance of keeping the inheritance together to facilitate their dynasty's long-term increase in power and wealth. In this system, there is a tendency for vassals to grow more and more powerful with time if not kept in check. It allows additional succession laws. Vassals who refuse liege interference in wars are seen as traitors. So yeah, that's my vote. Okay, we know who's for and who's against. And that includes my spy master I've been trying to make friends with. The hell, man. Some friend you are. We have proved the institution of the late feudal administration. Which means... Yes! We got it! It's primogeniture. Which, again, it means the oldest child of the ruling inherits all the titles. My successor will like the law, but other members of my dice will slightly approve. It will displease all vassals, especially those who stand to lose. Well, like it or not, this is the only way for the unity of all peoples to... to have it. So, primogeniture here. Primogeniture there. Although, since this is agnetic, during his reign, he'll switch it to magnetic cognatic. I mean, everyone will like him. He's got a very high diplomacy skill. He'll be well liked. So now I got a few unlanded sons. Which, that won't be a problem. Glad we took um, care of that problem. So the realm will never split again. Which means, hell and Excuse me. You want to land? Or the county of Soli? But you're a republic. You don't need that. I would be happy to grant you this deserved reward, but no. Armed thugs attacked me while I was investigating a rumor of the pond in Verbosna. I barely escaped with my knife, and I'm severely wounded. What happened? You're not that severely wounded. My ancestors know severe wounds. Well, our founder of the dynasty came out with a crimson mask. Sinister forces of work. Ah, friend. Sure. Pedinance. That's what I need. Hopefully, there'll be some miracle that, uh, that someone, anyone, could just help me just pray to God that a miracle that performed that my gout will be cured. 
So let's just take a stroll, simply enjoying a small talk. Diplomacy education. That'll work. There you go. This person we can banish. Well, at least we're reducing the number of prisoners here because I'm trying to be more uh, cruel. Still not gregarious. That's what I need. Just wanted up the diplomacy a bit more. Uh, I'm not sure ask for my help. Hey, Prince Archbishop! Alright, he was happily surprised by my request and together we proceeded to unravel the wordings of the passage. With Andrea's patient guidance, I managed to make sense of it at the end. The wisdom of God is infinite and indisputable. Thank you. Vertoslav is such a caring son, always ready to lighten up the mood during a somber family dinner or play with the children, even though we may disagree from time to time. I cannot deny his accomplishments as a son. People like him are rare indeed. A jovial mate. Well, he is has a high diplomacy skill. There's a bountiful well of wisdom above. Today I've uncovered new meanings in several passages which I've never given much thought. I shall take these lessons to heart and carry them with me. No matter where life takes me, mark my words. The Bible is truly a book of wonders. A group of hedge knights has come to visit Bosnia. Duke Lubish has met them and asked them to apply. Finally, welcome them with a lavish feast. We have money. This is what it's for. Plus two diplomacy and people like me more. Alright, let's play. I'll get you next time. Yeah, he's a game master, I assume. If he wanted to be that way. The Hedge Knights participate in a minor tournament with our Knights in Verbosa. Sadly, one of those landless vagabonds has been severely injured. Pay for him some medication and send him on their way. See, I'm charitable. Glad you're keeping me company. How's that building of yours? Oh, now you actually invested your money in building a port. Good on you. You actually done something for once. <laughs> yeah, I wish my vassals were more diligent on improving their own domain. Terry exploits should should impress them. I mean, I had a career. Making more progress on the patents. Is you a hundred yet? Well, his opinion's gone down because some of the things expired. Since all these castle towns and walls are built, well, we still make roughly that same amount of money. Just depends on how much they like you and willing to pay those um, those taxes to you. I know that St. Benedict was a paragon of temperance. However, I'm struggling to control my appetite. Oh, here we go again. I'm supposed to eat very simple food and small potions, but I'm growing weary. I cannot concentrate when my stomach grumbles like this. Okay, that I shall desire my defeat my desires of fast. Oh man. Too little eating has turned me to a shell of my former self. I gained a malnourished trait. Look at my face. Malnourished. Very fragile. First day of the fast went reasonably well, but on the second one I woke up ravenous. I thought I would die. I hurried to the kitchen, ignoring the servant's stairs. Once there, I proceeded to shove anything out of all I could find into my mouth. Not for, not caring who saw me, but now everyone knows my failure. How could I shame myself so? I betrayed my sinful nature and broken seclusion of time to shame me in the eyes of others and greatly hampered my progress. Now I'm a rampant sinner for three years. And I'm gluttonous. <laughs> oh man. Despite these setbacks, I'm still making progress towards the pendants. And just now, my husband, Pokovara, somehow owns this part of the county. 
But when he passes, it'll go to my son, uh, Milovan. Which all I could say is go for it. <laughs> I mean, Lithuanians are one of the most noted minorities in the kingdom. What had he done? Hard diet. He got beaten up. Were you trying to assassinate somebody? Let me see. No? No? Nothing at all. For me, the biggest challenge while doing penance is the solitude. I sit here and reflect on the role of St. Benedict. Thoughts into my mind, which I desperately want to share with someone. I have barely exchanged a single word since I began my seclusion. I glance out of my window only to see Prince um, Mati Ninoslav engage in a lively conversation with some friends. You have friends, do you? Well, you have one rival. <laughs> uh, it's just somebody, one of his military friends, I guess. Struggles all the independence or to make progress and stress? No. I'll go down there and join him. If only for a few minutes. Well, Mate Nidoslav and his friends were surprised to see me. They were excellent company. As I stood there, surrounded by people, I could not stop talking. Well, it was supposed to be a few minutes turned into an hour before my companions had to excuse themselves to get back to their duties. Ah, uh, that was nice, although I knew I shouldn't have. What am I doing? They're going to say, you failed! You rampant sinner, you! You failed your fast! How can I be a, a saint to the people of Bosnia if I just keep falling short? That's what they'll all say to me. That's what they will all say. I am speaking in tongues, screaming obscenities at random times, and most often when I priest preaches, I am sometimes lying on the ground, riving in apparent pain. I am seldom to remember these things, and people believe me to be possessed. Be gone, foul demon! I'm possessed! Help! I'm possessed! Uh, hold on. Maybe I could, uh... Well, just finish my penance first. <laughs> but I'm still making progress! <laughs> Help! I sh the, the, the fast. I should have never broken that fast. Why do I get the impression that uh, that the uh, the ghost of our Slavic ancestors are haunting me for what I've done? Sandoka Trevimirovich. It, it, just because he's cynical does not mean he's an apostate. It's just an unbeliever. Don't take it too seriously, will ya? If you were going to do the hell, why don't you do that to me? I'm possessed. And hurry up and finish my penance. Tell me to penance for my sins? I've already failed. What makes you think that I would succeed now? Again, I like to think it's the ghost of our Slavic ancestors that are haunting me. It's, that's what made me possessed. Heathen ghosts. <laughs> Finish it already. Why do I think I'm going to succeed after all this? Look at my face. I'm malnourished. <laughs> Haven't eaten in a long time. For once, I think I need to buy indulgence. And now you're saying the bone squeezer. Okay, the bone squeezer. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her. What's the matter of you? I'm still saying no to that. Okay. Um. Oh, strong girl. Huh. I didn't ever notice you that strong. Uh. You know, when you grow up, matter of fact, 
it's impossible. It's like I need to patrol to one of my, uh, one of my Bosnian grandchildren. Peter. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, you are an excellent student, but... learn on your own and don't have an education it's a matter of you I must have neglected you I just can't seem I can finish but okay you know what get me out of here what they will say uh, they will say that I did not finish and I would lose a hundred piety just help me I'm becoming insane but don't worry, we're getting closer. If I finish this mission, I can be a Conversus. Oh, thank God. It's your mission completed. <laughs> you have no idea what they've done to me. One more month and then I'm promoted. Settle so says, congratulations, Helen. And why are you acting all weird? Why are you speaking in tongues and saying nonsense? And I'm saying I'm blaming on my, my, the ghosts of my ancestors. Ah, just get rid of gluttonous. Now I need to get rid of possessed. Somehow. It's a hard, hard trait to get rid of. Just keep the faith. And for goodness sake, um, malnourished is not a thing, not not a proud thing to have. And how much would it cost if I were to build a church over there? It's one of my other issues. Two eighty nine. Here you go. It'll be in two years on June 9th. Once that temple's complete, give it to Piro. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but uh. Need to buy indulgence for my sins. Here I'll plead for salvation. Your holiness, help me! Help me! <laughs> I'm just being melodramatic, of course. I thought the... No! Not again! <laughs> Not again! This. You just wait! Holy Father grant us absolution. That'll be 232 gold. That's what he says. Hmm. And you're not doing too bad yourself. Food poisoning and drunkard and mystically altered. You have a mystic for a court physician? And they call you the Falmer. Glory to God, I guess. So here you go. Just pray for a miracle and hopefully the possession can just go away. I mean, it's not something I can do myself. I wonder if there are other members of the court that are possessed. Maybe I can expel demons. Like, I just want to show that, uh, that I can do just that. Oh, one of the few remaining Anglo-Saxons that are not Cathars. Let's discuss the Bible. Okay, well, let's focus on my duties. That's why I'm here after all. There, that'll up the learning skill a bit. Apparently, I'm the only one in the court who is possessed. Everyone else is sane. Okay, what about the vassals? Ah, one guy from Ragusa. The Dalmatian man is uh, possessed. Are you from any of those Patrician families? Well, one of your brothers is a Patrician. You come to court. I'm gonna have to um, perform an exorcism on you, just to show everyone around here that um, 
Look, I gotta appeal to the church, okay? Apparently you can't uh, expel demons from Well, uh, I don't know what you're doing here, but... Unless I have to ask you... Hey, get out of the courts, will ya? But, however... Oh, no, 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 you're not going to Sardinia. You stay here. Well, actually there is one thing. You are iconoclast, right? Well, we can, uh, bring you Catholic. I mean, you're not a ruler. <laughs> Man, uh, why is this video turned into a sudden, supposed to be a serious as you've announced, slightly comedic, you know, misfortune of others? Okay, uh... Can't seem I can expel the demons for you. Maybe it's because I am possessed and I can't do a damn thing about it. Okay, you know what? Since you got a good learning skill, go take the vows. I'll lose the piety. You will join a monastic society. It's uh, plus it'll mean it'll disqualify him from normal inheritance, but it could still be cleaned. Get out! And he's gone to the bishopric, a local bishop. Me being possessed is going to disqualify me. Well, again, with the disqualifications. Um, I would like to think I'm disqualified for being a possible saint. Look, I've done a lot of good things for this film, but I'm a rampant sinner. And somehow this uh, possession happened to me, which I like to think it's due to the ghost of my ancestors. <laughs> this is just me being superstitious, of course. Uh, after we skip a bit of time, which is becoming a standard procedure in this series. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should do penance. Maybe this will help me get rid of my uh, possessed trait. Either that or wait for that theology focus related seclusion event and we'll attempt to get rid of that. <laughs> get rid of those ghosts! And do not forget that I'm suffering from the gout. Which is a successful tree, which I'll need another treatment uh, next year. Don't worry, Brawny. And Theology Focus cancels out whatever the gout is doing to me. Prince Archbishop, please make sense of this passage. Thank you. And, and is there anything that says in the Bible about possessions? I don't mean possessions like the stuff that you own. I mean like... The, the, the demonic possessions. You know, as I said, the ghosts of the old Slavic paper are haunting me. I used to be one of them, but. And I went by an old name. <laughs> which that name no longer carry any significance, anyhow. Oh, no. Look, look, just a little treat, alright? Hopefully no one will notice me this time. I waited until midnight before I made my way to the kitchens. I found some of my favorite treats in one of the pantries. After many days on the most, um, dairy of diets, they tasted like the most delicious food I've ever eaten. My appetite is satiated for now, and no one is wiser. That's right, Helen the Wise, Helen of Bosnia, shield maiden, future saint, question mark? Look, I'm a very good person who had a rough past. And I do not want to go back to that old sinful life that I had lived. But now I'm being possessed and I'm trying to get rid of it! Oh, wait! Hurry, Kay. Rector Perros men is, have outdated drilling routines. It is almost embarrassing to s see them in action. I could send them some books or maybe some commanders to help get his men up to date. Look at you. You don't even have an organized army. Also, you're becoming infirm. Oh, boy. So, uh... Who's going to be the next person to be elected? This man who, who is also infirm. 
Ah, uh, seniority has its flaws. A commander will get those soldiers um, up to scratch in no time. Sway him to my calls. What the heck is going on up there? A dead Joro over Ferrara? What are you, nuts? Oh. Oh, wait a minute, Vertislav. Man, you got fat. What happened to you? You're over extremely overweight. Yeah, I struggle, but don't worry. I'm doing a lot better. Don't you worry. What if the reward is get rid of possession? But if I get another virtue, then that's all fine and dandy. I mean, if I die with the gout, I mean, at least I'll go to heaven. It's just, um, you, you know what I mean. You know, the way I've been acting, I, I would have the paranoid trait as well. As I said before. I'm blaming these old Slavic ghosts for possessing me, and because of that, that means I cannot be beatified and later canonized as a saint by the church. They're trying to prevent me. They're trying to stop me from being viewed as this blessed woman who has made Bosnia, Croatia, and Serbia what it is today. For being a great and pious ruler who is seen as the first Yugoslav ruler in a sense. When we say Yugoslav, we're saying that word as in Yugoslavia, meaning land of the South Slavs, and this is what it is basically. It's mostly South Slavic. With a few Dalmatians, Lithuanians, Bulgars, Avars, and Greeks. And there may be a German or two, but that's yet to be, you know, proven. Unless I were to actually look it up. God has shown me the light. Also, that whole buy indulgence for my sins thing, that didn't mean anything. That's just to get the Pope to like me a bit more. Narona, that place was destroyed by my ancestors, so here you go, all yours. So now you get to install your new um, bishop, if you please. Whoa, 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 what the hell is going on here? Dober. Iconical. Oh, that's Monothelite. That's another Orthodox heresy. I don't know how long you've been here. You got some money in you. I think we could banish you out of here. Can we? No? Well then, you get to die in the dungeon. A jihad for Syria. Against who? Oh, brother, Zikri are, you know, the strongest of the uh, Islamic nations that I forgot. They're heretics. Yep, they're dealing with their own heresy problems as much as we have. Well, by we, I mean over there. Bosnia's fine. We already took care of the Lollards. But that's no concern of ours. Wait, wait, wait. High Chief of Antioch. Oh, they want all this back. Right. Right, right, right. Sultan of Syria. Righteous. Well, he is the Sultan of Syria. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Okay, they're not at war, but... They're the target. There. I misread that. Again. No concern of ours. There are those in my realm who worship other gods. For example, it is known to me that Uwes, uh openly follows the Sunni faith. I sometimes wonder what the Lord would think of my association with these people. Sympathy for Muslim religions? And also, who the heck is always? Is he a court physician of somebody? Just one way to sort it. Oh, there are three Sunni Muslims. Steward of Dukla and court physician. Oh, okay, these guys are all court physician. Well, some people needed some renowned physicians. It doesn't matter what faith they are. 
as long as they know what they're doing. Okay. That's Duke's business then. But don't convert to Islam or else. Their heathen delusions do not interest me. But what does interest me is my own well-being. It's about a few months before treatment. What happened? You've been, uh, ran out of pasta then. What happened? You've been wounded as well. My god, they're beating you up in prison. Hey, flip that excommunication. He done nothing wrong. He's my son. And the Pope will say yes because he really, really likes me. He's not an apostate. He hasn't done nothing wrong. Just because he's homosexual does not mean that he's an apostate. It's a lifestyle choice. All right, left the excommunication at the behest of Queen Helen the Bosom. The Pope says yes. Now please get him out of prison. Croatia won't. Oh yeah, that's an interesting name combination. Peter and Petra. Oh wow, this is a bit of a difference. You got an attractive son and Croatia wants him to be betrothed to an ugly girl. This is the opposite of a uh, ugly guy, hot wife. Now it's hot guy, ugly wife. But then again, one can't be born in the other, but I'll take that chance. Wait! I failed to notice something. That's a matrilineal really patrol. No, 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 no. Unacceptable. You think I didn't see that, didn't you? Just because I'm possessed does not mean I'm stupid. Must have think I was born yesterday. How you doing down there with your new republic? You named a bishop. A bishop of your kin, right? No, that's someone else's. But he is a bishop nonetheless. A Dalmatian bishop. Alright, it's been completed. And I will get my treatment soon. Now we're close friends. Alright, what do I get out of it? For completing the uh, seclusion. I am kind. Which now I'm far away from being uh, cruel. Now it's time to seek for another treatment. Just give me a well tested treatment and everything will be alright. Told me to undress and then kneel with my buttocks raised. That was awkward enough. But when I saw the instrument in his hands I almost bolted. Must have noticed because he patted me calmly on the shoulder and told me to stop clutching. Okay, whatever you say, Bishop and Designated Regent and Advisor. I don't know why. Just save your words. Alright? Save those words. Bishop Ostoyas Justice has brought peace to a troubled county. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard in the province. The peasants have never been happier. I'm very glad to hear that. I mean, of course, there's a... The, the steward did his job. Look what today it is. December 25th. That's Christmas Day. So, Shretan Bozic. Merry Christmas to everyone in this realm. <laughs> but I don't know what Merry Christmas is in the Dalmatian language, which that language is extinct today, but... If anybody that has any form of knowledge of the Dalmatian language, at least a few words, if anybody did some reading, find Merry Christmas in Dalmatian and see how it's said. Or type it in a comment. And by the way, for all of you people watching, you've probably seen all the other videos that was posted today on Christmas Day. So therefore, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone from around the world. So let's continue. It ain't over yet. As I'm struggling for the strive to be a future saint or not. This is probably the most peaceful episode that I've ever recorded. Uh, there are no wars to fight because we chose not to get involved in any of those affairs. 
Unless Bulgaria says, hey, we need some help. Holy war. Oh, down there. Saxon territory. You can take care of that. Peter's getting sick. I guess he can go for military education. Just don't get sick, okay? It would be really, really bad to lose you. I'll simply ask him. What happened to Pest up there? Oh, an Iconoclast Revolt, and they really, really wrecked the place. Oh, man. Look, we're trying to be friends. Tell you what, again, I want that Republic to prosper greatly, so... Oh, cities are expensive. See if we could reach up to 2,000 gold, if I'm still around by then. And I'll spend it on another city for them, so they'll be stronger. They'll be easier to defend themselves, as well as uh, fighting in wars against Venice to take some of the trade posts, which would be entertaining to watch. To see this investment fighting against their Republic rival. Again, Dubrovnik slash Ragusa is Helen's prized possession. All right. Since I have a very high diplomacy skill, my palace was enriched by your visit. So he feels touched about it. You see, for all the future reigns of many a monarch, this um, rector here must be pleased at all times because he will definitely dislike you because of a wrong government type. And due to the little fact that, you know, he's a foreigner. All right. Be gregarious, will ya? I don't care what you get. Spend a little building fortifications because, you know, in case of raiders or something worse, that could be out there. Even if it's Slavic ghosts. No active mission so far. Hey, we got a ransom. They finally released my son out of prison. My youngest, mind you. Hey, look at you. Mr. Goody Two Shoes over here. See if I can teach him a virtue. Give him another one. Diligent or humble? He got humble. Now drop some weight, will ya? So what's going on in Vukovar? Oh, it's gone Catholic. Thanks to Chief Vukoman of Vukovar. Huh, how about that? Vukoman of Vukovar. Okay, now that guy needs to be taken care of. Now you have the reason why you should be in prison. You got too many sins. And I won't forgive you for that. I ain't gonna teach you some spiritual guidance. And I'm gonna let you rot. Because you deserve it. Sin too much, and you get the chains. Vitoslava Tezlovich. My kinswoman. Anna. Bastard at that. By the way, who the... Ah, yeah. Oh, just let her go free. She's just a bit greedy, that's all. You know what? There are better things to do. Should convert these uh, remaining Orthodox provinces. Those holdovers. I think we should have done uh, Slavic ones, including that one Lord Heresy up there. But oh well. Whenever you get your time. Just stop accusing people of being apostates. Except for the, what they are. And if you can't, you know, stand the fact that they are what they are, well then, what the hell are you doing here? Mm 
How's my little investment down there? Troop numbers. Again, you got four more years and then your reinforcement rate's going to go up and it'll be a fully functional uh, republic. Yes, of course, I will come. And don't get on my bad side because apparently I'm possessed. We can raise 14 ships for transportation. We don't have a city shipyard. Well, we can provide you with um, a city guard for you to have pikemen. So, easy with the money spending, alright? <laughs> if I somehow get a, I don't know, a big bag full of money, we should build a city for them. Oh, why don't you borrow money from the Jews? Spend it on that? Borrow all that back. Oh, not really. Oh, really? You've done it. Congratulations. <laughs> Somebody, uh, I guess we can get rid of the Orthodox, but it's much easier to get rid of the heresy. And the uh, last remaining pagans in that realm. Also, you've moved your capital. So, this castle is your residence, apparently. Well, he owns those three, but the castle is his residence. do for stewardship. We can't uh, have women having martial skill anymore because we don't have that women's law. Those days of the warrior women are over. Greek Catholic? Are you Catholic? Yeah, sure. Why not? Just get out of my sight. request money from him. He wouldn't like it, but uh, he'll say no because he's got many reasons. It's because I'm way wealthier than he is, and the donation will not be refunded. Oh, here's another thing I could do. He's got a good bit of money. He's an old man, so I'll send him some gold. Here you go. More gold for your republic. Try to get somebody to, uh, you know, to win that election for you. I mean, you have any sons? Well, none of the grown-up ones, but your brother. He's designated heir in Republic. There you go. He must have, uh, okay, he's already spent big. I think it's for the election. Yes, it's the funding for his, uh, his election to make sure that his, uh, Younger brother, steward of Argoza. What do you mean, younger? Um, yes, younger. To be the next one. But oh, he's iconoclast, but. Once he uh, gets elected, I'll tell him to um, convert. Or else. But until then. Oh, there's one. Slavic province remaining nearby. Need a loyal marsh. My son, of course. Excellent. Should think about changing walls again. Ah, here's a wall we can change. Yes, they will support that. The revocation of titles should go back to the ruler. So that way, when people did something bad, um, I will get to have 
no one will have any more say when it comes to uh, title publications except through me. Another virtue, here we come. There, they approved it. And now I'm temperate again. Alright. But I'm still malnourished. And look at you, Prokovuras. They call you the Cowardly, but now you're a hero of your Warrior Lodge. That'll show them. Despite uh, having been a part of the Order for a long time, Brother um, Ansford still does not truly exemplify the Benedictine ideals of hard work and structure. I could teach him to set up a horrorium structure. What does that mean? I will, but it's first lesson that but must be that good things do not come for free. So I'll offer him the help with the monetary compensation. Oh, right, just because I'm top rank, that means I have to do things for the little people now. When I say little people, I don't mean dwarves. I mean those low-ranking guys. I thank you for your offer to help. I've sent you the request of payment alongside this message. I look forward to your guidance. Excellent. Let us begin. I'll help you to become a hard worker. Because hard work pays off big. That is a lesson. And look. If you can make this amount of money to be just to be a hard worker, anything is possible. And remember what I said during this whole conversion process during my younger years. It's not about what you believe, it's about what you do with it. That's that's the key. Alright, the Moriela helped uh, Brother Lansford. The creator has worked wonders. He bettered his ways now, he works like a true Benedictine. Well, drop the paranoia and keep working. That's all you gotta do. You're from the Lombard Mercenary Band, which you have the Dragon Amulet. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coast of Bosnia recently. Worse, there's a rumor that among the common folk of pirates that's being aided by Sardinian and Corsican agents. I must send a letter to the Sardinian and Corsican despot to find out if so. Now we're experiencing tax collecting issues. Oh no. I mean, those guys too. Ah, dang it. Pirates in the Adriatic. Again, send him a letter, see what he thinks of it. It grieves me to hear of your troubles, but I can sure you have nothing to do with the pirates that plague your coast. He's not only the despot of Sardinia and Corsica, but also Trapezonid. Ah, uh, that puts my mind at rest. Life's too short for any more hatred. No rivalries that I still have left over. Well, one, which was my son. For whatever reason, I think it may have been the ambitious thing. Just deal with that as we will, uh close this episode here which was the most peaceful episode of all time and possibly one of the more entertaining ones indirectly so we'll see you in the next one until then so long for now